Welcome to my Caldine MTG Arena premiere draft. Okay, so I'm looking at... Uh, this doesn't seem like a very good rare to start with. Try Dwarven Hammer, or just take the Savella and try to see what happens. Savella's probably like the most powerful card, and it's fun to play. Yeah. I've just been ending up drafting a lot of red-green anyways, and it's probably like a good start. Because it can win a game by itself. Uh, there's nothing really exciting at common in this pack. No pack mates, no behold the multiverse, no augury. There's a squash, but I'm just gonna take the Savella, why not? Uh, so I got past the Varagon Blood Sky Sire, so I guess no, but people really don't want to be in black. There's also Spirit of the Alder Guard and Struggle for Skemfar. Man. I mean, black is bad. Don't get me wrong, but... I could just take the Spirit of the Alder Guard and move on. Because, like, Spirit of the Alder Guard lets you do, like, a lot of silly things, too. But... Yeah, somebody took a common. I'm assuming they took, like, a Packmate or Behold the Multiverse over, um, Baragoff. I guess I'm gonna take it, but I'm not, like, totally into it. I guess. Augury Raven. Boreal Outrider. Sulfurous Mire. Sulfurous Mire would let me splash Baragoff if I wanted to. Or I could just take the Boreal Outrider. Hmm. This isn't like the best snow payoff, but I think it's fine as a snow payoff. Let's see. Arnie slays a troll struggle for Skemfar, bind the monster. I think I'll take the struggle. And hopefully we get like more of um, the thing. Spirit of the Oligar would have been pretty nice. I'll go away. I think this card's actually been much worse in practice than it seems in theory. You can sometimes make this a 7-7, seven, seven, but I, I wouldn't like count on that most of the time. Ardor's Vicious Return, Ermagerd or Kurder. Redegard, Stronghold, Iron Verdict. So black is kind of cut, sort of. Green's kind of cut also, which isn't great. Could just take the Iron Verdict or the Bredegard Stronghold. The Stronghold. Ice Hide Troll Bound in Gold. We could just be doing green white garbage, which is maybe okay. Take the Bound in Gold. It's a removal spell. We're probably not going to get any green next pack because we passed the uh, Spirit of the Alder Guard and the um the other guy the um the Struggle Scumfar. Elven Bow. Green looks kind of open still. We're getting like an Elven Bow because this card's good. The Elven Bow. It's not incredible, but it's playable. It's just a three mana two three reach, and then like you get to do some more stuff with it. Horizon Seeker, if we're doing like crazy multicolor shenanigans. Run short could be fine, but take a seeker. I think I need to get another light in order to fix the green screen, because it's not perfect right now. Hmm. 
Ice Hide Troll, Snow Covered Forest, Gold Vein Pick. Ice Hide Troll would be nice, but I don't know. I think they'll take the Snow Covered Forest here because it's kind of free to do it right now. I played Ice Eye Troll, unless you get like a ton of snow land, it sort of sucks. It's kind of my issue with it. Sculptor Winner, Not Volt, Slumber Mound, Grizzle, Outrider. Let's take like the ice creature. I don't know if red is open. I know green looks kind of open at least. That was the original pack we took took cards out of, which was I think the one where we took the um the Savella out of it, and there was a squash in it. So I think red people there's at least one person in red because they took the squash. Those packs pretty awful. Bazooka. Boreal Outrider is an elf, if you want to know about it. I don't really want to play a Breakneck Berserker. It's fine, it's just not super exciting. There's so many 3-2s for 3 you can play in this format, I don't know if I really want that one. Horizon Seeker came back. Also Gold Maw Champion, but we'll take another Horizon Seeker. I think we're just in green-white. So we missed out on a Struggle for Skemfar, or a Spirit of the Boreal, but... I don't know if Boreal Spirits are that great in green-white. I guess the advantage of green-white is that you get like a lot of free planes, because like nobody wants them, right? Maybe we can get a Maja next pack, that'd be pretty decent. Missed out on Iron Verdict also, but I think it's okay. This is such a weird trick, because like plus one, plus three. I guess it's kind of like uh, that. Um, we can't play any of this among the matter. But it's like it's kind of like the uh, ceremonial whatever thing from ages ago. Iron Verdict or Blizzard Brawl. This is just like prey upon, unless we get a lot of snow permanence going or an Iron Verdict. Avalanche Collar is really good, but blue was super, super cut. Hey there, Azale, how's it going? Let's so take the Blizzard Brawl. We might get more snow cards. To turn this to be, on, to be beyond like a prey upon. Snow Sorcery. The World Tree, or a Struggle for Skimfar, or a Thin the Fang Bearer. You're crafting an EDH deck. Well, I hope the EDH is going well. This is interesting if you do like really crazy multicolor shenanigans. I kind of just want to take the Thin or the Struggle for Skimfar. This is like a really annoying to drop. This is like a removal spell. I'll take the Struggle. Axe Guard, Bragger, Swamp, Mass Vandal. It does feel like we're in green white, you're going to be really limited on the removal. Hey there, El hey there, workhouse, Workhorse, how's it going? It seems like in green white, you're going to be really limited on the removal. Oh, you're welcome. Hope things are going well. This sculptor looks kind of bad, unless we get more snow permanence, but we're not really getting it. I guess I'll take a Mass Vandal. I think this card's been pretty good. I guess I could take a Bragger. We don't have like a 4-drop guy yet. Rune of Might. I like Rune of Might. You can put it on the Elven Bow. And it makes it way 
more efficient. I also don't mind the Stalwart Valkyrie. That is sort of a late-ish Augury Raven, but I thought blue was really cut. Last pack, it might be a little bit open this direction. I don't know. I'm not going to play the Sculptor if we don't get, like, more snow cover lands, but it feels like we're not going to get it. Like, I'll probably play, like, a Glittering Frost, maybe, but... Slesnia looks really good, you know. We're not getting, like, the snow the snow stuff, or really, like, the great... Yeah, that's a really late Behold the Multiverse, but... Uh, I think Green White is getting cut this direction. I need something like Maja, yeah. Yeah, Maja really makes it come together. Um, I think I take the planes here because I have like the sculptor and the Boreal Outrider. I mean, the thing is, you do like white snow decks. You're you, you the the planes are basically like free because like nobody wants them. Or they shouldn't want them, anyways. Because there's almost nothing to, like, reward you for snow. Like, red-white snow, for example, doesn't actually exist. Because, like, there's only, like, two payoffs for snow and, like, red, I think. Like, the frostbite and the fumarole. Forest or pitch? Or glittering frost? You like the pick. You like it more than Glittering Frost with Sculptor of Winter, though? Isn't Glittering Frost pretty insane with Scu Sculptor of Winter, though? It's pretty insane, because it makes it do two, two mana and stuff. I don't know, I kind of want to take the Glittering Frost here. Not in this deck. I don't, I'm going to take the Glittering Frost. I think... Hmm. Blade Warden? Oh, I look aggro. Oh, okay. I don't know if this deck is really aggro, but like maybe. Other creatures have seven. We have seven creatures. It's not super aggro. I don't know. Another hill giant or a two drop. It's all the hill giants. I feel like the hill. I feel like the two drops are kind of replaceable in this format. Whatever. There's a provoke the troll and a bind the monster, but I don't think we're doing that. Snow covered swamp or cat. Giant ox? Oh my god, the meme. Meme. I'm just saying it for the meme. I mean, the cat is like fine, it's whatever. I think it's because I took Varagoff over uh, Spirit of Bredegard, and that's why I'm not getting any of the, um, I'm not getting any, like, snow things now. Because people are like, ooh, Spirit of the Bredegard. Yeah, I think if you're in any draft pod with Death Sea, you can't get pick at all because like everybody will just be taking the picks. That's the case because it's like, you know, pick picks are the best thing if if you're a Death Sea draft. Yep. I can take a 3-2, I guess. Let's take another 3-2. I might have to play King Harold's Revenge, I don't know. Oh, there we go, Maja. Yay, we did it. Equip is just one mana, yeah. No, I'm not saying it's bad. I mean, I snap take the Maja here, yeah. For sure. Bounding gold, and also, like, yeah, but I mean, I need this. Highland Forest or Iron Verdict? 
Highland Forest would potentially let me splash Savella. If I want to go that deep, like, I can play Savella on the splash. With the Highland Forest and the Glittering Frost. I think I like that possibility. I'm just doing weird Naya thing. Waking the Trolls. Valkyrie Sword, Stalwart, Valkyrie, Alpine Meadow, Lindworm. Uh, how good is Waking the Trolls? I kind of feel like I just want to take the Lindworm, honestly. Or the sword. I might just take the sword, actually, because the sword seems really good as like a potential finisher. Struggle for Skimfar or Shimmer Dravail. Hmm. We have two struggle for Skimfars. Most of our stuff is not good at fighting because they didn't take the worm. Because like the worm would have been good at fighting. I guess we can have another fight spell. All the struggles. Snakeskin Veil, Batter Shield Warrior. Batter Shield Warrior seems pretty good with um the uh the Maja, right? Snakeskin Veil would be good to protect Maja from getting blown up. Because like a Maja gets blown up, that's pretty bad. I kinda just want to take the Snakeskin Veil to protect Maja from getting blown up. In middle combat. Could maybe play Raven Wings if we have to. It's a really late Icebound Pillar. What's a creature count at? 13. Hmm. Bound in Gold, Champion. Uh. Another Glade Warden. So I guess red, green, white is kind of open this direction. It's pretty cool. You just have all the bounding golds. You just have. Oh, Elder Leaf Mentor is kind of sick with um, Maja because it's two bodies. Hey there, S Hunter, how's it going? It's two bodies. I think I kind of go wide with the Maja. This might play a tap. White source, but I don't know. I don't think so. We do have the Boreal Outrider wants me to play uh, Snow Sources. Scorn a Fiji. Or, mm, I'm not playing the Herald Revenge. We have so much removal already, I don't think I need it. I've definitely been impressed by Pick. I've been impressed by Pick. I think it's definitely fine. Ooh, the Alpine Meadow. Now we're pretty good on like Snowlands. It turns on the uh, the Boreal Outrider pretty well. Nope, I'm not gonna play any of this, so it's fine. I think it's. I think Jaspera Sentinel isn't unplayable, it's just it's not something that I'm actively looking to do. Get a beer broken, how's it going? Yeah, it's not it's not something I'm actively looking to do. I don't think I really want to wings the cosmos. Warhorn Blast, maybe, I don't know. I guess with Maja that could do something, but we have to draw the Maja and the Snakeskin Veil and then not have Maja get blown up. That's really late. I'm not gonna play the, the I'm not gonna splash a coal, but I'm also not gonna play funeral longboat because I think longboat sucks. Making a box on hit, yeah, it's kinda like pseudo equip zero, yeah. There's definitely some turns you have to think about um how you're sequencing stuff in order to be able to do it though, but yeah, I, I get what you mean. 
I don't think we actually have that many creatures. Like, I guess it's good with the Maja, the Warhorn Blast. That's about it, right? We don't. And the Elder Leaf Mentor kind of likes the Warhorn Blast. Need a lot of removal. I guess I don't actually need Blizzard Brawl because there's so much removal. Otherwise, like I mean, the, like one, two, three, four, five. So I mean, the Blizzard Brawl is probably going to be on some amount of the time. I don't know. I don't know if I really need it. They might have actually too much removal. That's possible to like complain about too much removal. Sculptor doesn't seem that great in this deck. I mean, we have some, we have a, actually a decent amount of snow land that can untap, and the glittering frost can also like enable it. It's kind of sick with um, the being able to untap like a glittering frost land, but I'm, I'm probably not really ramping into anything. The only thing I'm actually wanting to play on the splash is the Savella. I think Savella is still worth playing though. I think it might just cut the Glittering Frost, even though it is cool with the one... It's cool with the one Sculptor, but we're not going... We're not playing, like, a 6-drop or anything like that. I just cut the Warhorn Blast. I felt like I had more Elder Leaf Mentors, maybe. Mammoth Growth's kind of poopy. Runamite is good, though. Glade Warden's like whatever, I guess. They're not like getting that big. Hmm. I guess I might just cut the Raven Wing since I already have like a few. Equi I have two equipments already, right? I don't think I need more. I think Raven Wings is fine. I put it into a lot of decks. Like I think it's pretty good with like a worm, for example. Works well with like worm. If we don't have if we don't have any Linda. No Linda. No Linda, honey. Yeah, I'm probably just going to cut the Blizzard Brawl and just run with this level of, of removal. Most of our fight spells are not going to be great because we don't have Lindas. No Lindas in them. No Linda, honey. The 15-9, so I have... 7 planes. I mean, it says planes, but then it counts, like... Yeah, I guess this is actually okay. We don't have any. We have one double white with the Maja, which might be a little awkward. There might be some hands where I don't be able to play Maja because I'm like I don't have double white, but hopefully not. Sounds like you've been doing really well with the uh, the Scion drafts. Beer Broken. No, actually, no, Beer Broken was playing the normal drafts, apparently. Not the Scion drafts. Who was playing the Scion drafts? Like, I know some people from uh, Ilion stream were doing it and doing really well. No, that was, that was probably, um, Alesha, I guess, yeah. I get a little confused at times. Green Source. This is fine. This is fine. Oh, the Scion Draft, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I know people are excited about the possibility of, like, return to eternal competitive stuff on uh, Tuesday or whatever, right? Five win and six win Scion Draft, nice. Uh-oh, we're getting Brine Barrow Intrudered, oh no. Oh no, one mana one two on turn one. Yikes. Oh shit. They aggro. We gonna die to aggro, man. We're dead, right? 
Suit that up again, please. Like, invest... Put, like... Well, I guess red... is there. There's no giant strength they could put on it in red. I mean, I'm just going to play a 2-3 and block that shit. That's fine with me. Here. Here, you want to you want to use removal on my one one? Go for it. Oh, there are three colors. Incoming Emmerstorm Predator. Yeah, they're gonna play like an Emmerstorm Predator. We have Bound in Gold for that at least. Axe Guard Cavalry, sure, it doesn't matter to me. A little late to the party, Sculptor of Winter, but I guess we play a 3-3. I can also just play my Horizon Seeker, or my, no, I play the Doomscar Oracle and my Horizon Seeker. It's actually just better, I think, and I get to gain two life. There we go. I did it in the right order. I gained two life. I'm smart. Bjerg Strider. Okay, well. Bjerg Strider. Like an attack. Oh, that didn't even actually have snow. Though they can actually wipe my board with the Frostpire, but they also lose their entire board, FYI. Right? They lose their entire board. They're gonna lose- they're gonna wipe my board with the Frost Rider. It's like, they just bound in gold that post-combat and attack here. It's Snow Covered Forest. I'm not gonna play out the sculptor because they already have like a board wipe that they can play. I just don't wanna like play out a 2 2 into their board wipe on board. I can block with my Elven Bow, they can use their Sertland Frostpire after combat. I kinda don't even care. Oh, really? Oh shit. Rude. Give that haste. I'll trade my 2 3 with that if you give it haste. I think you should also attack with a 2 2, but fine. I don't want to play stuff out into the, uh, into the board wipe, is the issue. Like, I guess I can just play the Glade Warden, but I can't equip either, because I don't have enough mana to do it. Right? They could attack with their Brine Barrow Intruder my block, I lose my guy. I guess. Where's Paldo? 36 kills and assists, and 19 assists. Where's Paldo go gold? With and tombs. Ooh, scary. Hey, the tofu. How's it going? Oh, they had nothing to do. Nice. Could suit this up. Now, now their frost pyre is less good, right? Do they have the bounce spell or the smashing success? No, oh, it is reading it. I was gonna say if you have smashing success in your uh, three color aggro deck, then um, I guess cool. So I can make this a two three. So they have something. It feels like I don't know it's five five actually.
It's trample too. Okay. Oh god, we got wrecked by Omen the op Open the Omen Path. Shit. Shit. Um, I don't really want to play this because it's just going to die to their Frostpire, so I'm just going to pass. They have a board wipe. I have to, if I play this, I need to equip it with the bow so it doesn't instantly die, or put, put counters on it with the Glade Warden so it doesn't instantly die. Now I need to actually hold land because they have a thing that does that their stuff thing. I suited up this guy because they have a board wipe there, but maybe I guess I didn't need to do that. They can kill my 1-1 one -one if they want to. Sure, I'll discard the mountain. Sure. That's lethal if I pump here, right? It's, yeah, it's 10. You pump token. Get pumped. There we go. The token was like, I'm helping. I was like, yes, you are. Hope you're doing well, Tofu. Maybe one of these days I'll play, like, a game from Steam Backlog, like I keep saying I will. And, like, I keep saying I'll play, like, Spiritfarer or something, and I just never do it. Because I'm like, eh, I don't have time. But maybe if, like, these magic graphs go, like, kind of bad, I'll play some Spiritfarer. This is actually a mostly green deck, so I'm kind of okay with keeping this. Because we're, like, I think the deck is, like, almost, like, bulk green. But like, a good chunk of it is actually green, so, like, we don't necessarily need, like, white spells early. We had it anyways, so that works. I'm playing the bow first, though, honestly. I'm playing the bow first, because, like, the 2-3 is pretty good at block trading with 3-2s. I mean, a 3-2 can trade with a 3-2 also, but it's not as good. If you said it was forever ago, you said you're going to play it. Yeah, no, that, that's understandable. I, uh... I played a little bit of Yakuza 0, and then I started get, really getting into the minigames. I'm like, wait, I can't do that, because if I... Get really obsessed with the mini games. I'll never finish it because there's like literally hundreds of hours of mini game content. Oh, they're doing something I don't like. And when I say I don't like it, I mean I'm actually kind of scared. I think we just play out the Doomscar Oracle, and I guess I can foretell the struggle. I could have played out the Valkyrie Sword without just to get the two life. No, I can't actually. I only have one white. I can't. I couldn't have done it that turn. I need two white to do it that turn. You had a long time playing mini games. You knew like poker, yeah. We got stuck on land, and they're playing three color. A presumably good thing. Oh, they're skull raiding me. Okay, that's not as good as I thought it was. I guess we get rid of um these two. I can't cast these, so I guess we might as well get rid of them. Or, like, yeah. You know. I guess the sword is kind of bad because I, I'm just going to be forever since I can cast it. I guess we get rid of those two. 
Like the sword, like the sword, I could put it into play, but it's like the va- a lot of the value is getting like the angel out of it. It's kind of functioning like a seven drop. You can play this as a two drop, but I feel like it's a lot worse if you're doing. Oh, they're just they're just doing that to destroy my equipment. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty hateful. Like destroying my equipment like that. Fine, and we just do more struggle for Skenfars. Imagine if I had the snakeskin veil up to prevent that from happening. Could, then they could have, you know, prevented the shackles. I think we're just kind of dead. We didn't hit land. Right? That could be a demon bolt. Feel like that's a demon bolt. We can get it out of their hand by playing the horizon by using uh, by using the struggle here. No, that wasn't a demon bolt. Then okay. I thought that was a demon bolt. It could have actually been mammoth growth, and then that was really bad to like attack into them, but. I don't know, like, use the struggle there, it was Mammoth Growth, because they had a green red up, it could have been Mammoth Growth, and that would have been really bad, because I can't, I can't Snakeskin Veil to beat a Mammoth Growth, I can only, I just didn't feel like tapping out to play Horizon Seeker, and then they do something nasty, Frostbite, um, that does actually kill my guy, so I have to save it. That actually kills it, because they have one, two, three snow permanents. They have three snow permanents that actually kills my guy. I don't know. I assume this is like the 5-5 five five then that they can cast. Icebind Pillar, and they can tap my guy. Okay, so they can just tap my guy forever now, which sucks. Yeah, so we're going to start tapping this. They're just four color snow, it looks like. And now there's gonna be a pause every turn because of this shit. It sucks. It need better icy manipulator, yo. I mean, it can't tap lands. And I guess they do actually need to, like, invest some picks into, like, snow land. Oh, that's not good for me. Well, no, that they, that actually doesn't do anything. They don't have a creature to sacrifice. So that's actually okay. They get their Mistwalker back, though. They can get their Mistwalker back. That's the main thing with this. And they make me discard a card, so I want to play all my shit out. Like, I want to play the Glade Warden in the Highland Forest this turn. Just so I don't have cards in my hands. I'm not going to boast because I just want to play my guy. And play my land. So hopefully they don't have like some board wipe. I guess the giant board wipe doesn't hit this, but then it means they can start tapping it. But this guy, if they have the giant board wipe. Okay, no, this dead. Because like the giant board wipe kills everything but my changeling, but then they just start tapping my changeling. This is probably one of the reasons I've been taking Mass Vandal a little bit higher in like green decks, just because like it's really main it's a really main deckable effect and like the one three is actually like people play like two ones in this format because there's so many three twos. So like a two one can trade up with a three two, but it can't do anything if you play a one three. So like a one three is like okay. Like obviously if your opponent plays a three two and you have a one three, it's your one three looks really sad versus like a three two unless you have like two one threes then then your one three looks a little better when you have two one threes but I actually feel like the creature sizing is very reminiscent of like uh Ravnica Allegiance. It's like fine. We just drew all of our four drops, which is a little awkward. This is like one, two, three, four drops and a three drop, but hopefully they're not like hella aggro stuff. I'm playing, I say that as I'm playing best of one. Ooh, I drew a two drop. 
I'm saying that as I'm playing best of one, like, they're not hella aggro, and then, like, best of one is, like, crap loads of, like, aggro decks in it. Just foretelling. So, like, three color snow again. Cool. So many win the game to your target. Yeah, like, if it gets rid of a, uh, Ice Bind Pillar, Bound and Gold, Bind the Monsters, Reflections. Oh shit, well, okay. They got my Oracle, I guess, and I don't really care. Oh, they didn't get anything in their graveyard. That's funny, so they got my Oracle, and they milled two of my lands, which kind of sucks, but... I think that's a little aggressive to play King Narfi's Betrayal on 3, unless, like, you're really desperate for something, but they can... They can actually play my Doomscar Oracle out of my... out of... from Exile if they want to. So it's kind of like they drew a Doomscar Oracle, right? If I trade this off, then it can't trade with my... Then that thing can't trade with my other stuff. I think I'm actually okay with attacking here, because I have other stuff I don't want it to trade with there. And it also makes my uh, other thing better. I think we just send here. I think they snap block on this, right? I think you snap block on the Horizon Seeker. Yeah. Actually, I should have played the Elderleaf Mentor there, because I don't know if I really want to spend mana on the Braggart this turn. Feels like they're going to play a Wither Crown anyways. Yeah, I should have played Elderleaf Mentor that turn. Oh, they have a pack mate. Well, that doesn't stop my Braggart if I want to boast it. Actually, I shouldn't have activated it because they didn't block. That was a waste. I guess I'm just going to cycle this now. Oh, I got to land. Okay, so they, I think they can kill it, but that, that was actually a mistake. I shouldn't have activated it. I thought they... Because they didn't block, I, I could have just played an Elderleaf Mentor. I mean, making this into a 5-5 five -five is still pretty good. Yeah, I only have one White Sword. Oh, shit. Well, they're going to steal my Axe Guard Braggart. Nice. Yep. That was really bad. No, I only have one white source. That was really bad. They stole that. That sucks, actually. That really sucks that they stole that. Especially because I put the rune on it. I should put the rune on the Glade Walker. Should put the rune on the Glade Walker to play around that, I guess. Because I have to block this as though it's a 6-6, six, six, and if they have any trick, I kind of die. Do I think of it? I, I think if you have, like, garbage creatures to throw away, it's good. They gave me a pack mate, which, I mean, I mean, they only drew the card off of it, which is kind of most of the value. But if you, I guess, if you have, like, a ton of, like, uh, Elder Fang Disciples, then it's good. Right? Because we're, well, I might get my Bound in Gold. That'd be really nice. Or just... Nothing. Okay, because I really wanted to get my Bound in Gold so I could kill my own Axe but I didn't. Exchange isn't stellar. Yeah, 3-3 three, three is a real creature. Yeah, so that has reach, so they can trade with this, but... I may be, might be okay with this trading, honestly. Alright. That has reach. Do they want? Oh, they actually want to trade there. Okay, I'm actually fine with that trade. I might be able to set up a turn where I pump the wolf with counters and I fight my braggart. I guess that's what my hope is. More pack mates. Nice. So I think they're just blue-black and they're splashing the so rules pack. I mean, no, no, they actually had the spider, too. Come with Faithful, alright. 
Yeah, so I think here what I'm going to do is pump my... Pump this pack mate. Pump this pack mate and have a fight that. Yeah, the Dungeon Man soundtrack is amazing. You have to do this at sorcery speed, unfortunately. That's just how it is, right? I need that gone. No attacks, because I don't really want to trade there yet. If they have a second Trickster God's Heist, we'll just move on to the next game, because that's kind of annoying. I mean, maybe not, but... Sure. Yeah. So I think they're they're just splat. They're they're a blue black. They're a blue black green deck, and they're just splashing for these two sagas. That actually makes a lot more sense now. Could pump this again to an eight eight. They have to trade their entire team for it. If I do that, it's really bad if they have a single removal spell, and they just have four cards left. Is the issue right? I'm gonna trade your entire team for this. No, I didn't think so. They also milled my uh, Bredegard stronghold, which sucks. I kind of needed that. Sculptor Winter. That's a little awkward to draw the Savella there. I could send in the Horizon Seeker to its death to get, like, the red source and send in the Packmate. Hmm. What does, like, an Ace Base look like? Like, if I pump the Glade Walker and I send in most of my guys, maybe leave the Glade Warden and the Outrider back. Hmm. It's probably good, right? Like, on that. And then send in these three. You do like punching, yeah. I don't want to lose these two yet. They have value still to me. Or double block. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Well, the Menacer, I guess. Actually, the Menacer doesn't really matter. The body matters more. I remember to activate my uh, Horizon Seeker, because I've done that before, been like, go to damage, forgot to, uh, forgot to actually, oh, my freaking Maja, frack, wow, damn, that's, that's nasty. Well, we might get to spin the wheel next turn with Savella, Jarl the Forsaken, kill my packmate, no, jerk. We might just spin the wheel next turn, but they milled a lot of my good cards already. Replicating ring. I don't know if that matters. Mist Walker. Okay. Why are you attacking into this? I can just double block it. I guess I lose my Boreal Outrider. Do I care? I don't care that much about this. And that can block later. Hey to Puffy Wuffy, how's it going? I don't care about that that much. I'm just about to get a bunch of uh, cards off my Savella anyways, right? Or one card off Savella. Hey, thanks for the raid, Garbage Andy Spam Foxes! Fox Spam. Hope your stream's going well. Or, I hope the stream went well. Hey there, SC, how's it going? Hey there, Sarah Neff. Raid! Raid hype! Yes, we're going to get to activate a Savella with eight. 
Yeah, I guess just activates the Savella. I guess I can do it their turn, right? Yeah, just do it their turn. It doesn't matter. Like, I, I don't have anything with haste, as far as I know, right? I guess... I don't know. I, I guess if I draw a combat trick and nothing else, that sucks. If I draw a combat trick and nothing else, that sucked. I don't think I have a flyer, but I might as well see. Alright, spin it. Oh, uh, that's awkward. I can bound in gold their Mistwalker that's already attacking. Shit. <laughs> that, that was probably maybe a reason I should have done it on my turn, but... I guess I'll take the bound in gold. I mean, it can still attack me as a problem, though, right? It's annoying. I don't know, fine. It can still attack. It just can't activate its ability anymore. They could have activated it in response. Right? Mass Vandal. I don't have anything. Oh, they really? Wow. My Bound in Gold. Brute. Brute. I don't know if even have cards that are good left. Honestly. Because they milled me twice. Like, they got rid of... They milled the Maja. And they also milled my Bredegard Stronghold. They milled a lot of my good cards already, so I don't know if I can actually win the game now. It sucks. But, uh... Yeah, I was glad to stop by your stream. It was a lot of fun to watch it. If you haven't checked out Garbage Andy, he's really fun. I think we're just gonna die to these two things, and... Yeah, they have one more card left than I do because of Savella also is the issue. Like, I could attack- I can't even attack with a Savella because they have a 1-4, it sucks. And they have a massive anvil, we're just losing the three colors, Yank. Jank pile. I don't know. Yeah, we're threatening to cast two to draw two cards a turn, but it's a little awkward. I should probably should play the Alpine Meadow, honestly. Yeah. So they have another one of those um Yarl the Forsaken or something? Maybe. Well, that's not bad, actually. They can start attacking. I'll just take... How much is this if I don't block it? Like, five? I think I just don't even block there. I'm not even block there. Because I'm probably just going to activate the boast on this next turn and play the Elder Leaf Mentor. Honestly. It feels like they have a follow-up spell, though, because they didn't activate that the full way. They have a Skemfar Elder Hall that they can play also, by the way, to make chump blockers. So that's all they had? Okay. So what I like doing here is... Can I win, actually? Yeah, I can win, right? Like, I killed that with the struggle for Skemfar, and they die. Yeah, they, they just die the struggle for Skemfar because they're tapped out. They don't have an activated ability I can think of, you know. Yeah. I don't think they should have attacked with the 3-2. I don't know. Maybe they just didn't think... I mean, I guess... Yeah, because I have the bragger. I guess I, I revealed the bragger after they attacked. So I didn't know that that was lethal. They had a removal. Right? Yeah, I guess it was fine. I mean, it's really hard to beat, like, a Resolve Savella if you don't actually have, like, the Bound in Gold or, like, a Fight Spell. Because, like, it just sits there, and then your opponent gets all this value off of it. The only risk there is I was kind of low on cards because they milled twice. Like, once with the King Narfi Betrayal, and then once with the, um, the Coma's Faithful. So I was kind of going to run out of, like, cards. I might have actually just ran out of cards, like, if I didn't do something soon. Because I was getting low. Yeah, so Vela is a lot of fun when you can actually cast it and do it, you know. Just some, it is a lot of fun. You like get to spin the wheel and get a lot of value. It's even better if you have expensive spells, too. Because, like, it becomes closer to, like, 
you know, like if you play like a seven drop off of it, it's it's even better. This is like fine, yeah, keep it. It's a little slow, but we have at least a four tell card. A four tell card to do. Mm, I think I still like foretell. I still like foretelling this. And then we play the Outrider, and then maybe hopefully draw a creature to that's white. A white creature to pump with the Outrider would be decent. Hey, the Yellow Hand, how's it going? Tap land, alright. I think I'm still going to play the Outrider and hope I draw an untap land for the Mentor. Like, untap forest, like snow forest would be really good for the Mentor, so I can get a 4-3 and a 1-1. One, one. I mean, they could kill this. I don't know. Like, if they want a Wither Crown, that's maybe annoying, but... Three colors. Bloodline Pretender. That feels like something I just want to murderize now, actually, before that gets bigger. Warrior, you know. Could rune this up and then just fight that thing down before it gets out of there. Hey, Nymetobi, how's it going? Yeah, I think I fight this and then rune it up and try to get, like... I'd rather rune up the bird, obviously, because that's going to get bigger, but I'd really need to draw land, too, is kind of the problem. I mean, we're definitely fighting that, for sure. He got bigger. Land. Okay, that's actually not bad. We'll play the tap one first, though. They could kill this. I guess that's fine. I already got the card out of it. And I can play... If they don't... Oh, that's kind of rude, actually. I can bound and gold that. So that it can't use its ability. Because it's... Well, I guess it doesn't get to kill this yet, right? But... Hmm. I don't really want a trading either, so I think I just bound that so that it doesn't trade with my Outrider. I don't get to do anything else this turn, which sucks, but it's fine. Because yeah, I don't, I mean, I'm not gonna, this, they would have to pump this to be able to destroy some, but I, don't, I just want to turn that option off. I also don't want to take four in the air from this. So yeah, this is not like the best use of mana, but I think we just stop that from attacking or doing its tap ability next turn. Alright, so they can't tap that because it's it, it's bound right now. I also don't have a legal target for them to destroy the warrior with this anyways. It would have to be they would have to pump it with like a spectral steel and then attack. Goldmaw Champion. That's a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, now they're holding shit back. Alright. Threat 6. I kind of like... Hmm. If I play the Axe Guard Bragger, it's a 4-4 four, four. this turn. I think I like playing a 4-4. Four, four. Do I look foxy? Yeah. I like playing a 4-4. Four, four. The pay with snow, it's a 4-4. Four, four. I don't think we're attacking. I don't want to trade there yet. Thanks for something in mind, though. Do people often say I look foxy? Yeah, like people are like, man, it's that guy with the costume, no judging and stuff. I mean, I I, I still have the, the blue hat or whatever. I can wear that, too. Ooh, seven. Um, so they have one card left. So the bragger, if I swing both, if I swing both, they would have to... I guess I could just pump it with the Bredegard Stronghold, right? 
And then it'll be a 6-5 and a 5-5, five five, and then their blocks get a lot worse, right? Unless they have specifically Mammoth Growth. It does turn off the pop the option of playing Valkyrie Sword for a bunch is like the downside, but I don't hate it actually. Just doing the Bredegard Stronghold to pump these two. Why did it tap both my white? Oh, I have to tap both my white swords to do that. That's actually kind of sucks. They have a feed the serpent. We're just reading what this card does. I wish I had another white source for these, but I don't. I wish I had another white source for my braggart, I don't. Okay, so just trading everything for the bragger. I think that's actually okay with me. Because they, they know this gets bigger, that's why they're trading it. This does make my future turns a little awkward, because I'm not going to have, um... I'm not going to have the ability to, like, uh... Double spell for a while. That might have been an aggressive attack. Yarl the Forsaken, or what? I don't know. They get a 1 1, okay. Hey, the Zealous, how's it going? So they have a Yarl the Forsaken? No, they didn't. Okay, that's good. I'm at 29, but a single removal spell kind of like makes a lot of. No, they, just, they can't beat my 6 5. Okay. Like a single removal spell there would have been kind of nasty. Like if they just like slam down like a Bountain Gold or like a. Feed the Serpent, I'm kind of in trouble again. I'm like, wow, I don't know if I can actually win that point. I was talking about the same Raiders, I was getting really distracted by the, uh... stuff. Yeah, I guess Incineration works a lot better in, um... Scion Draft, because you're more likely to be able to draft a deck that's, like, good with it, whereas, like, in normal drafts, when you draft, like, a Incineration, you're probably not going to also, people are more likely to have a bunch of card draw, right, in, like, a Scion draft. Yeah, and a Salvo Margaret. Anchor Bob, how's it going? That is the only Salvo hit. Yeah, that does seem a little awkward, honestly. But it probably works out. They only drew one card, but yeah, 13 mana because of Waste Zone Tide. Oh, God, yeah. She just, like, amplified it twice, or whatever, or three times. I don't know how many is this to do it. I think it's, like, three or four times. Yeah. All right, where's Paldo and Overdrive Flop got a reward? All right, we're doing a skin chest, skin chest map. I know you can't see it, but in your heart, it is there. It is a skin chest map. They can't hack, or they can hack. I don't know. This is like kind of okay. You have both our colors, and the snow land. This is a little bit of a greedier line, but maybe I can, like, get this as a 3-3. That'd be better. Half of the world tree, okay. Black mana, you say. Cause I kind of want to get this as a 3-3 three, three if I can. I can't make this a 4-3. I don't have a snow plains. Sculptor winner. You totally missed right out, right? Yeah, you have to have snow mana of the appropriate color to make it do its thing, unfortunately.
Actually, this makes us able to attack past this, this turn. This is not bad. You just have to... You, oh, you just thought you had to spend Snowman. No, you have to spend it of the correct type, yeah, to do it. Scrub. Binding the old god. No, my 4-3. Jerk. Jerk town. And I'm not drawing land. Root. You think they block? You know, I'm, I'm gonna save it. Oh, I guess they can un- no, they, what could they have cast for one on blue, one blue? I guess if they had like a foretold card, I should have maybe thought about that, because if they had a foretell card and they untap, their, untap that and depart the realms, I'd look really silly. It was a load bearing four three, yeah. I keep running into like these four and five color snow decks in best of one. It's a little scary, I won't lie. I could bound in gold that and keep attacking. So they have double they have a Double blue up. If I bound in gold and I keep attacking, I am actually putting a kind of a decent clock on them, but if they play like a 6-6, six, six, that's bad. Hmm. I don't know if I want to use the removal on the 3-2, because if they play if they slam down a 6-6, six, six, I need some answer to that. But they're also gonna cast their path to the world tree really soon. It's like my down is my issue also. I think this is like more of a passive line. I'm actually fine with that trade. Okay, that they have a no mists of Lichara or something. Alright. Can they activate that? No, they can't yet, so let's let's play this here. I want them to play a Linda. So that I can bound and gold it, and then hopefully they don't have another one of those binding of the gods. Cross Peak Yeti. That's not a Linda. They could have the part the realms now, do you think? I think now they have double bound and gold, I'm fine with just doing this. Since I have the second bound and gold, I'm fine with using this one. It plays a little bit better around the part the realms, because like the part the realms, if I. They could depart the realm. No, they don't have depart the realms. Okay, because I, I just don't want to like use the fight spell into them having to pipe depart the realms. They bounce my four three. Not good for me. Three seasons. Okay. They can get back the grim draugers and the sculptor, right? Glittering. Oh, they're just dead. Okay. Yeah. They just realize they're dead. What did Ravnica Allegiant Gate Control with it at every draft during call time? Yeah. It's really good. I mean, I think the red aggro decks are still really good, too. Like, it's it's kind of balanced out. You can kind of play aggro, right? It's like it's not like where um, you attempt to play aggro, and it's actually awful, and then you just kind of go, like, I don't want to play this format anymore, because, like, this, like, I can't, there's no balance. I think there's a fine balance. I've definitely lost to, like, white-red, black-red, white-black, even. Actually, I actually see more white-black aggro decks than I do red ones, go figure. Like, sometimes those white-black aggro decks, they just draw, like, the actual straight-up nuts. They draw, they draw, like, the actual nuts, and then you just can't beat it. This isn't... This hand is actually kind of bad, but... I don't think it's unplayable. I, I five zero, yeah. I, I don't think this hand is unplayable. It's not good though. There are definitely some hands I just throw away because like they just don't look like they're gonna do anything. But mulliganing on the play also feels really really bad because then um like the the card loss hurts a lot more there. 
And we can kind of afford to, like, not do anything for one more turn when we're on the play. Because, like, it's not as important to, like, throw, slam down a three drop. It's basically a ball to six anyways, you know. Yeah. Turn one helm is a little scary. Might as well keep. Well, I don't know if that's, like, the best... Death Knell Berserker. Oh, uh, that's a little scary, actually. Because that can turn into a 2 2 when it dies. I don't want that happening. I need to draw my Bound in Gold, I guess. Would be nice. They just suit this up and swing, right? Sphere Step Pathway. Oh, God, they have Double Helm. Yeah, that's really bad. We're losing to Voltron. Shit. Yep. Hand sucks, keep. Yeah. Could draw my red source. I feel like I have to attack here and play the Elderly Mentor and just trade with that. Though is the problem, right? If the elderly mentor can trade with that, it does give them a 2-2 two -two that they can make into a 4-4. Four -four. Uh, this is not actually good for me, that they're, they're playing the double Tormentor Helm deck. Yeah, this is not good for me, because they can make the they can make the zombie into a 4-4 four -four also. Because they're going to get a zombie off this dying. Or they can have a trick, too, like, you know, it's dealing t This is like the downside of uh, Best of One, is when people do this, and it's good. Yes, yeah, so it can just suit it up and make it a 4-4. Four -four. I need Bound and Gold to punish them for going really deep on that. It's not great either, because they can still get they still get to make it a 4-4. Four -four. Okay, that's not a good card, but it's probably gonna work out for them. Yeah, I actually don't think Funeral Longboat is very good. Unless you have, like, a bunch of 1-1s, one then it's, like, fine. But it's like tapping a 2-2. Two -two. The crew doesn't seem like while. Looks like they just have another removal. If they have another removal, we just go to a Dusk Wielder. They can make that a 3-4. See, 5-5. Five, five, no, they're just making a 4-4 four, four zombie. Oh, they did actually put it on the boat. That's hilarious. I think I have to take seven. I need to attack with this and boast it and then play my Savella, I guess. The Savella is like maybe okay at blocking. Hey there, AF Gaming, how's it going? Savella is like the thinking troll. You love the fox, you yeah. know. They can make a 5-5 five -five boat. Beer oh, shit. Yeah, that's bad. Is that a zombie berserker, or is it just a zombie? It's just a zombie, yeah. I mean, I have to block that. I have to block this, I'm pretty sure. I'm just going to die if I don't. Because this has Menace also. I also take two damage blocking it. You know. More unit. No, they had like the really nutso curve out for a red black, red aggro, equipment aggro, double tormentor's helm. It's pretty insane. I can fight this down, but then the boat is still an issue. I think we're just dead, right? Like if I fight the two, three down. I think I have to kill that. Because they can just make the 5-5 five -five boat. And even if I block it, I still take 2 damage, and it's not great. Just crewing it, yeah. Like, a 3-5 Savella can block a boat that's a 5-5, five -five, but the thing is, uh... 
I take two damage blocking it. And I'm just dead if I don't block it. Like, I'm dead if I don't block it, so I have to block it and take two damage and probably take two damage from this. Okay, doing it that way, okay. Okay, if they do it that way, I think we have a chance, because I can block in Snakeskin Veil. I, I go to three, which is really... Okay. Okay. They have a removal spell. I mean, if they drew, like, a demon bolt, yeah, I'm dead, right? Just activate it. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. Unfortunately, the boat's lethal now. I'm dead. I'm actually dead to the boat. I'm dead to the boat. Because I, I can't, I block it and I instantly die, so. Just concede. Yep. Double Tormentor. No, I, I'm dead. I guess, oh, I guess they could have whiffed on you, creatures. Yeah, I don't know. I guess they, that's true. I wasn't straight up dead there, but I just figure, like, if they draw any creature, I'm dead. I don't have any life gain. But I, I could have waited and seen if they. I, they have no creature. Yeah, no, no, I, I understand, but I mean, they'll probably draw one, right? I don't know. Okay, that, that's a mistake. That's a mistake. I just assumed they had a creature. I assumed they had a creature. That's my bad. I'm just like, oh, they have a creature. No, they don't. That is definitely one of the things that can happen if you play like a heavy a heavy boat deck, a heavy equipment deck. If they're playing like three or four equipments, they could definitely just like not draw creatures. That that's definitely definitely was that's definitely a punt though. Definitely a punt. If somebody was like, "Man, that you punted," I'd totally take that. I'd be like, "Yes, yes, I did." Actually, Sculptor of Winner to untap a guy, yeah. This is where Linda would have been good if I had one. Which has been, like, Linda time. I could fight that. It is kind of annoying. Because it pumps their guys. And they have a 3-3. A 3-3 doesn't really change a lot. It still dies a way down. Right? I need to draw a creature is kind of the problem with this. I don't know how this actually... I guess I have to tap this first and then untap it, because it's not... That's not how... Um, no, I can't because it had to tap to untap the thing, unfortunately. But I know what you mean. It's, it's a 3-3 it's a three -three now, at least. This is kind of annoying, because it does... It does actually cause some issues. Okay, Outrider is fine. I think we just play the Outrider and pass, because I don't really want to trade into that. Gonna spend the four, you know. I mean, I think they trade, right, if I attack with a Sculptor. I guess I don't really need it anymore, right? Like, I don't need the Sculptor. I could also just... I could also Rune of Might and attack, but I'd really rather play... I think I just attack into it, because I don't really care if I trade it now, because I'm so flooded right now. Yeah, I think that's actually okay, because I'm really flooded out as it is.
Yeah, having to use four mana to kill my opponent's three drop feels kind of bad. They could also just have, like, a way down. Oh god, that's a lot of flood. I'm not happy about it. That's gonna help in a future turn, at least. I could bind and gold my own creature just to assert dominance. That doesn't seem like a good idea. It's not a good idea normally to like just waste removal on your own creature. Okay. There's a Savella. Could just bound and gold that and attack with Savella. Or attack with the play of Savella and stuff. Because it is mana efficient. What do they have in response? Oh, poison the cup this? Are they gonna... no. I guess I attack with this first, because I'd rather them poison the cup this than poison the Savella. I lose out on the counter if this dies to poison, but I'd also rather keep the uh, Savella around. Yeah, I think they're gonna poison it. Oh, Yarl of Forsaken. Okay, well now I got really punished. Because I could have made that bigger. I, I thought they had poison. Ugh. I thought they had poison, actually. They could still have poison. They could still have poison, which isn't great for me if they have it. Or a feed the serpent on this. Yeah, there is a lot of Fortel to play around. I, I think it's actually correct to play around the common Fortel and not the uncommon one, right? Which is more likely to be Jarl, or that they could have Jarl or um, Iron Verdict. So it's actually correct to play a pre-combat, to play around Iron Verdict or Jarl. Oh, that actually sucks that they're killing that. Because um, they might draw like the removal now, like the bound. Did they, drive the, drive, did they draw the bound in gold? They did. Nice. And now the flood begins. I have zero ways to get rid of the enchantment in this deck, so it's also flooding out really hard versus um Shoot cool my land, you can see it. Maybe kill my three three. This can potentially get bigger. Alright, take your workhorse. They're blocking my trample creature. Oh, they definitely have, um... They definitely have, like, a, a resurrection spell for that. Alright, take care, workhorse. Have a good night. Draugr's Helm, make a 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, that's pretty bad. My god, that's a really bad flood. If I attack with this and they block, it's a two, it makes a 2-5 at least. But they can't really do anything against that anyways, right? That has menace too. We're just dead because we flooded out kind of hard. They attack for four. Yeah. You can't win a game when you drew like a nine, when you drew five more lands than your opponent did. And they also have the village rights to get a two for one. Yeah. Sure, I didn't need that forest. They already killed my land payoff. Unlimited power, yeah, so I can... The problem is if I kill the zombie, they just move it over to the flyer. I think I actually have to kill the flyer. 
Do I put this into play first before I do that? I think so. No, I can't. That doesn't matter. I can't actually fight with that. Because it's just going to die. No, I, it's just it's going to die anyways if I do it there, so I have to put it on the braggart still. Unless I want to fight their Elder Fang Disciple with the Horizon Seeker, which seems shitty. I don't think double blocking makes sense, especially if they have another Jarl. Well, they have another Jarl, I'm kind of dead either way, because they block. Yeah, that Jarl was really nasty, them having the Jarl. Especially because they have another Jarl, for sure, here. They have, like, another Jarl, block and Jarl. Yeah, they definitely have a Jarl, number two. Yeah. This definitely feels like a Yarl. Oh, they will poison the cup. Nice. Nice. They did have poison the cup in their deck, Beard Broken. They just drew it now. Oh, and they kept two on top. Yeah, we're, we're super, super dead. We're incredibly dead. Yeah, they both had it eventually. We're, we're just super dead to this. They have another removal spell. So they have another Jarl the Forsaken. They have a pump spell they're splashing also. They're, they're splashing Mammoth Growth. Oh, Warhorn Blast. Oh, okay, well, I'm not going to play around Warhorn Blast because that's such a weird card to be playing in your white-black deck because, like... You usually just don't get, like, tokens to work. Oh, man. All right, 5-2. Lost to the uh, white-black Warhorn Blast deck. Because I drew, like, 10 more land, the 5 more land. <laughs> yeah, this is why, like, I need to, like... Yeah, I actually lost the uh, Warhorn Blast, um... Last night too, but it was actually a red white deck then that that time, and they didn't have dwarven reinforcement. But at least in red white, I could believe they have red white. They could they could have um reinforcements. So it's like it's more acceptable there to my, to me. But I'm probably just being like overly critical, right? I'm just being overly critical because I can. Ah, this deck, yes. Rogel for Skemfar is potentially going to be good if that doesn't get huge, I mean. I'm either usually happy my opponent plays turn one Raptor, or I'm terrified. Oh, that's terrifying, actually. That was actually extremely terrifying. Probably dead. I mean, I can two for one myself off of that. Hmm. I can't. I could double foretell this turn, but that's, I could foretell the Skimfar and the Oracle and try to set up a Might and fight on the Oracle to kill it. I think that's what I need to do. Might and fight. So I have to do it this way. Nope, tap this first. I'm trying to set up a might and fight. So I can go I can go Oracle, might it, fight that. And then there'll be a 5-4 fighting their 3-4. They, they, I need them to not have another pump spell for the Raptor. Shit. Well, they did have a second pump spell, so now we have to trade for that, which is really bad. Sick.
and then fight it. And then loot and then they can get their valor back, which sucks. I guess I attack with this first. If I'm doing that. I have to do this. Cause I don't want to take another five, but They can use the Spectral Steel to get their Valor back, too, is the annoying thing. I guess I could have waited the turn. I don't know, but I guess if I had something... I, I don't know if I'm going to have something bigger that can potentially deal with that. I mean, I guess if I draw, like, specifically... Um, if I draw specifically my uh, Bounding Gold, then that might have been better. Maybe we can try to draw the Bounding Gold. Elven Bow. Okay, that actually is kind of nice. Because I can foretell the um, foretell the oracle and play the elven bow this turn, or you know. Pencil. So the way the way um sculptor winner works is you have to tap the thing for mana first before you do it. Like auto pay is really weird with it. It's not going to work the way you think it should. Having the Elven Bow is going to help a lot, like, because I can suit up different things with Reach to try and help with the problem, but they could definitely just have Invoke the Divine. Main deck Revitalize. Okay. I was going to say Invoke the Divine or something, just to blow me out or whatever, but I would totally buy if they had, like, an Invoke the Divine main deck. To, to stop bound in gold under Voltron. Aggro revitalize, I know. Could attack with both. And then play Doomscar Oracle Horizon Seeker, which isn't bad. They have a Brian Bear. Okay, well. I just want to kill the 1-1, one, one because that's a better target for Boras and shit. Doomscar Oracle is helping by giving me life back to recover. Like, I guess I could make this a 2-3, which does trade with my Doomscar Oracle, but it was also would have traded anyways, right? It would have traded anyways, you know? Wow, that's aggro, but I guess sure. Attacking with just makes that just makes that die. You wanted the free mountain? Yeah, I wanted the mountain for the Savella also, but like, of course they have, they have another bounding goal, wow, okay. The enemy just has like all the, uh, has all the, um, removal, I guess. So this can trade. I don't. Do you think they have another Brine Barrow Intruder? That's what I'm wondering. Actually, I don't even want to trade that into that because I have a bow in my deck I could play. They have a counter spell. Saw coming and counter it. I don't know. Oh, they have a Cosmic Charger. So I guess I'm glad I didn't block. I didn't attack into that then. I mean, I'm not going to play around the rare. It would, I guess, it would have just traded with the Elder Leaf Mentor, but like, I'm not going to play around the rare either. I probably should have just traded off with the Brine Barrow Intruder a while ago and given them their one one, but I'm just stubborn as hell about doing that. I just need to hit lands is the issue because now we're just like a little struggling on like lack. Oh, they're attacking with. Oh, they have a Doom Scar. Cool. So they just have a Doom Scar. This is what this means.
This is definitely a Doom Scar, right? Yeah, they're gonna Doom Scar here. Nice. Shepard of the Cosmos to get the Brian Bear Intruder back, or the Valor back, I guess. They can get the Valor back, actually. I thought that was a Doom Scar, that's why I blocked. It's made a 4 4. Alright, we can get something to, like, do. They have a 4 4 flyer, is the problem now. I can make a 4. I guess put the bow on this, and that just blocks all their shit, right? Did we lose? I think we actually lost the map. I think if I just traded with a Brine Barrow Intruder a while ago, this would have been fine. It's just like, I got a little stubborn. And then they just drew like two remo- they drew like three removal spells, or two removal spells, just some number of removal spells, and then they're, they're playing blue-white Voltron also. We do have a reach weapon, yeah, bound and gold are good. I have three bound and gold in my deck, I think, right? Or is it three storm goals? I don't know, it's one of those things. Oh, that's really annoying. I can't block that, and they have two bounding gold. I think we're just dead, right? I mean, you can chump it for a turn. Fuck. So this, this is. I think this card's kind of bad, but they have two, they have two bounding golds in their hands and stuff, and we're just like chumping for several turns. I guess. I guess I'm not gonna give up yet, but it's not looking great. They have two bounding goals in their hands. So we're going to have to chump this for several turns until we draw my binding goal for this. I actually think this card is kind of bad most of the time, but it's working here because my opponent has like so, they've gotten so much freaking value off of uh, their recursion and stuff. that, And I, I don't have my big creature removal. I just haven't drawn my big creature removal. Yeah, I'll just make an 8-8. I have to chump it. They have bounding golds is the problem, right? They also have two bounding golds they can play. They can start bounding golding my stuff. I don't... Oh, so the reason they're not bounding golding right now is because they still have the Cosmos Charger. They're just hiding it, but they put it into Fortel to, like, hide it. But it's there still. Oh, they're playing a saw it coming. Where did their Cosmos Charger go then? I'm really confused. Because they have one in play, and then why is it hidden now? That's weird. They didn't discard it or anything. I don't know what happens. I don't know actually what happened. I think we're just dead, right? We're just... Yeah, I think we're just kind of dead. I'm just going to concede out of there because my opponent is annoying the crap out of me. Hey, the real killer dub. How's it going? Held up the charger instead of the saw. Yeah, I, I'm just going to concede all of there. Hey, thanks for the raid, the, the real killer dub. Sorry I had to, like, leave. At, or sorry I had to see the draft end there. That was really awkward. But, uh, I hope your magic stream went well. All right, that's going to be the end of that video. We went 5-3 with the green-white deck. Just lost the Voltron twice. Drafts are definitely fun. We lost the Voltron twice. I think it was fun, but I I don't know. I just didn't see like any way I was winning that game, honestly, but there might have been you know, UW Voltron with uh, turn one Raptor on the play into Spectral Steel into friggin' seven drop uh, Cyclone Summoner. They have a Cosmos Charger too, also. We just have too much thing going on. Like, I don't really want to deal with it right now. We're just going to scoop out of there and come back later when we're in a better mood. But uh, that'll be the end of this video. Hope you liked it.
Um, and I'll catch you in the next one.